Okay, we now have a character. We have the skills that they learned during their careers thus far, some weapons that they have acquired along the way, some equipment that they um, have also acquired, a vac suit and a portable computer. But if we want to know how they got to where they are, we would want to add their career thus far. So you can see that they don't have anything yet. If we say add, we just have to type in the name of the service that they were in, their assignment. And they were a, he was a scout, and he had a rank of zero. Now, he survived, making his survival roll. He then had event four, which is survey an alien planet. So, during his training cycle, he got electronics comms. His, the result of the event, the survey, was that he got Recon 1. And he received a promotion, and due to the promotion, he became Scout 1 and automatically get Vac Suit 1 at that point. And so, those are the outcomes of this term. If there were any notes, Can add them here. And so we now apply and we see that the information is here and we can go back and edit it if there's anything we want to add. So if we now want to add a second term and he was a scout again and he was in exploration and his title was scout and his rank was one. However, he had a mishap. He was found on a ship with no memory. So, outcomes. Now, his, during the training, he picked up pilot, spacecraft. One. But then he had to muster out. He had two benefits. Um, he took some cash. Twenty thousand credits, and his education was increased by one. This is already reflected in the. Uh, character sheet as it was originally put in. So, uh, do we have any notes to add? Uh, out of the scouts. So, and we apply that. So again, if we just take a look here, we can see that it brings up the information. And again, we can go and edit it if we realize that we've made a mistake. And. Uh, change whatever is required. So, it didn't actually have any contacts in this character, but to show how that would work, let's take a look. We have none right now, so we will add, and we will add a guy by the name of Howard. And Howard is on Jewel. And he is a contact, and we helped him. As you can see, the notes are very free forms. And we can go back and edit it if we have other things to add. Let's add another one. So we'll call this guy Simon. Now Simon is on Mongo. And he is a rival. And the notes about him is that he is
So. And so now we apply this and we now have two. And we can also sort by what location they're located in and we can flip that order, what type of contact they are, or of course by their name. And we now have a character whose history and current status is pretty well quantified. 